must warn you that this next story from Thursday's Telegraph is triggering to some. As it's yes. a tragedy, Josh. Oh, dear. Students warn tragedy may be too triggering. Now, this is at the University of Derby, uh, and this is another mental story, but this is our bread and butter. Um, they're saying that they, they're telling students a genre of tragedy is obsessed with violence and suffering, often of a sexual graphic uh, kind, yeah, as think? opposed to happy tragedy. Right, exactly. Which is the good kind of tragedy. And... Um, yeah, this is uh, this is like I th they're talking about Oedipus Rex, for example, uh, like a story of a king who sleeps with his mother and kills his father. I thought that was a comedy, so I'm yeah. I'm, I'm, You're I'm learning something every day on this. Isn't on this this, this is so patronising to students? The idea that students don't know that if they're going to go and see Medea or or, or Hamlet, or that, that there's not going to be a bit of death, a bit of blood, you know? Well, this is this is a. a, a... Uh, I don't think kids or students are, are, are as fragile as, as people think they yeah. are. But what is actually happening, I think, is that activists within uh, academia and uh, teaching profession are basically problematizing the Western canon. Yes. Because that's, that's the end game here. It's to try and make kids think there's something wrong, there's something suspicious about yeah. all this stuff that we've been grown up to, to worship as, as, as a kind of cornerstone of, of uh, civilization. That's a really Really interesting way to look at oh, it. Oh no, I, I'd say so. I mean, I mean, you know, listen to the language. Um, uh, they, they have uh, it, it, tragedy is a genre obsessed with violence and suffering. That's a very strange. Uh, phrase yeah, it's not an to obsession. Use. Yes, that, that, that's a really weird way to describe it, it. It is. It's trying to make you feel that the writers were somehow deviants. You yes. know, and and again, it's like the, the these as I say, this kind of postmodernist surge uh, in academia is is basically being used to frighten kids, to and keep them in their boxes, and to try and persuade them that you know some of the greatest things that civilization has given us are actually completely worthless. But, but, but also, if you put a trigger warning on something, it's not a form of censorship as such, but what it is communicating is this idea that words can be violence, yes. words can be uh, dangerous, and that, of course, feeds into all of these activists' obsessions, if we want to use the word correctly, with the idea that they need to censor opinions that are harmful, right? Yes. So, so it is all kind of tied into an agenda, isn't it, Josh? Yeah. Look, does this mean that I am allowed to read King Lear or not? <laughs> uh, That's I think... all I want to know. <laughs> Would you rather I say no, so you don't have to read it? Yes, please. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, you do not have to read it. You're <laughs>